Welcome to Smith Falls, Ontario's only UNESCO-designated World Heritage Site. Smith Falls is truly the heart of the Rideau Canal and the midway point on the flowing waters that lead to our nation's capital, Ottawa, to the north, and Kingston, the gateway to the Great Lakes, to the south. Smith Falls sits at the midway point of the 202 kilometer canal system, the oldest continuously operating canal in North America. Despite our small area of just over 8 square kilometers, the town hosts three of the canal's 47 masonry locks due to the significant drop in water levels from one end of our community to the other. So behind me here is, uh, is the Okabine Lock in, in the middle of Smith Falls. Uh, separates the, the, the upper basin from the lower basin. Uh, it was built uh, again in, in the uh, late 1820s and early 1830s. It um, was abandoned or decommissioned back in the 1970s when a new larger combined lock uh, was built here. Um, a mechanical lock, uh, there's a larger lift rather than uh, boats having to go through three different locks here which are very time consuming and, and quite labor intensive. We see tremendous opportunities with this space. Uh, it could be one uh, attraction for tourists to come and understand how locks were constructed, how they were engineered, how they operate, uh, have guided tours and, and information sessions. People can truly see that almost 200 years ago how this all functioned. Uh, but as well, we look at it as great public space for an amphitheater, an outdoor amphitheater where we could have uh, live music, uh, theater, different performances, corporate events, as well as the possibility of dining in the lock, uh, a restaurant which could cater, uh, cater meals in here. It's a very unique opportunity and one we are currently working on developing. The Rideau Canal is federally owned and operated through Parks Canada, who continually invest in preserving and rehabilitating this historically significant asset. The most significant work lately has been the repair and replacement of the concrete walls in Arbor Basin, an area that will be full of boats this summer. Here we have the Rideau Canal Headquarters and Visitor Center, uh, the former uh, West Mill building. So this entire area, along with our water treatment, former water treatment plant over here uh, to my right, uh, was subject to a request for proposals. The town and Penn Parks Canada Rideau Canal uh, and a component, uh, Bruce Linton, uh, is currently working towards uh, a plan for the redevelopment of this entire site. Uh, Mr. Linton's vision would be a uh, hotel, conference and wedding center. So we're hoping uh, over the coming months to be able to formulate the plan um, and create the design that would really redevelop uh, our downtown and our waterfront at this, this juncture here between, between the two. Uh, both are historic buildings, uh, both have significance uh, to the Rio Canal and the town uh, and we look forward to that uh, redevelopment happening in the next couple of years. The town completed a downtown revitalization and waterfront integration master plan in 2013 and has been using this as a guiding document for recent and future development. The main goals of this plan is to ensure people can easily access and enjoy the waterfront and to create better connections between the waterfront and the redeveloped downtown. Uh, behind me are uh, a number of Lebowitz cruisers. So these were built in Poland, uh, delivered uh, across the Atlantic last winter. They arrived in March and they hit the water yesterday. So we're, we're, it's great to see them in the water, great to see the, the, uh, the winter covers off of them. We're expecting uh, a real influx of European, Asian, uh, Air American tourists of this tourism season as they rent these uh, very luxurious uh, canal cruisers to, to go up and down the Rideau Canal. Uh, it's been a f about three years in, in, in the works of getting the boat to locate here. The boat operates through extensively through Europe and when they visited Smith Falls, they really got the sense that if, if they took the best of all their European boating experiences and put them in one destination, that's what people would enjoy here on the Rideau system. We're, we're, again, we're very excited to have them uh, as part of our community. We look forward to a great summer with the boat. We are blessed to have uh, an abundance of green space and park space. That's over 100 acres uh, along our waterfront uh, in, in our downtown and into uh, what's called Lower Reach Park here. And uh, so it's between sports fields and trails and uh, just the opportunity to enjoy the waterfront. So when we look at Smith Falls as being the heart of the Rideau, uh, we look at, at a community where you can truly enjoy the waterfront and where there's people out for a run, uh, people sitting enjoying the waterfront. Uh, again, we're, we're just very fortunate our forefathers made those decisions uh, decades ago to preserve this waterfront for generations today. Meeting the needs of boaters is important to attracting and keeping tourists in our town. Recognizing the need for fuel and pump-out services 
and the attractiveness of waterside dining, showers, and other services. A full service marina is an additional undertaking the town could be involved with in the future.